appreciate, you appreciate all aspects of life. That's it's like everything. It can go like you know, I have I had a daughter last June. So like I literally can tell you, like I see like a little dog, you know what I'm saying, down the street, you feel you feel sympathy. You know, no matter like for anything, like you see some, like you see like trees growing up and you recognize like it's something beautiful. Like that's life growing. Yeah, yeah bro. And like even when like bro, down here downtown, like I was staying in a hotel, there was so many little kids in there. And like when like, these white people see a black girl interacting with their kids, and their kids like, fuck. They kids, they parents are right here. Yeah. They kids are like, yeah. I like this nigga's shoes. Yeah. He looked at my shoes like. We was like, we were in the ele we were in the elevator and there was this little kid in the car seat or whatever, and his parents, you know, were looking ahead, and he was just looking at four times, just smiling. And four times was like, what's up, little man? Whatever he's smiling, the parents is like, oh, hey, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, you know, it just takes a little bit to show a little bit of love. Four times we going, bro? Yeah, bro, we actually that right now. Hey, like, yeah, right. yo, ladies and gentlemen, this is a special edition of Point Proven. I go by the name of Rello, that's R E L L O. Four times the genius, man. Four running YouTube with us on back, and it got down world. And obviously, we are not in our regular studio in Wichita. Oh, we are actually in one of the liveest, best cities there is in the U.S., period. We in Tulsa right now. We've been celebrating the World Culture Music Festival four times. Who we got here right now? Man, we got my man Stone Beach from here. Yeah. Hey, if you in Tulsa, you know who Tone is. Point blank, period. This man has been stamping his stamping his name everywhere on anything positive going on in the city. So, first off, we got to congratulate you on a great, successful World Culture Music Festival this year. all of us. Look who just walked up, bro, right on time. Right on time. Man, I uh, love, like, see, that's the beautiful thing about Tulsa, is, like, you can be in one location and just somebody just pull up, yeah, bro. and it's all there. Always, bro. What's, what's some of the positive tone that you've seen in the city that you love so much over the years? Uh, I mean, I'm a, I'm, honestly, I'm gonna speak from like my personal experience. So, yeah, like, that's the only way you can. Yeah, you know, so uh, started going downtown, you know what I'm saying? We, when we was driving, we was like, right, right, oh, this motherfucker, like, we need to move to Cali, we need to move to Cali. Kino was the first person that's like, nigga, you shit, you bigger than this Cali. Like, you better than, like, he was the first person that knew what we had. Yeah. I will say that everybody knows Kino was the first person. That, like, Kino was King Cut. Yeah. He was the first person that was like, we got something special. Yeah. We saw the vision. We saw the vision way long time ago, bro. And this was for me, Steph, and Alright, we gotta give us a rundown of what world culture is. Because I know it has a festival. Right. World culture is a, man, it's just a, honestly, bro, Kino started that. Kino started world culture music. Like, there was some not. Okay, we used to, that. bro, we, me and Steph was doing our shit over here. I, my homeboy first, got me first. Yeah, I like first, him, uh, Kino, I hung the sweet. Um, they was doing that thing. Yeah. Then uh, we had a show like in Brookside, and first came to it. That's when we met first. He gave us a CD. He did that. Like, we did a car pocket, man. He's gonna be tight. We're like, man, this nigga's tight for me. Because we didn't know what the time was. We thought it was tight for me. You know what I'm saying? Like every nigga that was starting to start off rapping. Yeah. Like we go downtown, we meet all them. We have them music, we make something like to, you know, because it's like make something together. Yeah. And he's like, bro, we don't. And that's the thing. That's the unique thing about world culture music. Bro. It's not a label. It's not like this is a genre of music. It's a group of friends. Um, it's a city, bro. And like everybody that's part of world culture music, world culture music, has their like own label situation. You know what I'm saying? Like so. For example, Steph uh, just started like uh, Skyline I started records. So if I want to, I could drop an album on Skyline I started records. Okay. I could drop an album on Low Park and Studio. Okay, okay. So would you say that basically would you say that Tulsa basically put a name on the culture of Tulsa? Yes. Like that's the yes. best way to explain exactly. what world culture is. Yes. Gotcha. Yes. So it's not a label. It's a group of niggas modeling for the same for the same issue. Yeah, and go before World Culture Music, this stuff is always in Tulsa World. And people like, who's in Tulsa World? 
guys are still playing a lot to me. We might have to put that on the shirt. Bro, <laughs> that's hard. Yeah, we still have shirts. I think it is a shirt. Yeah, yeah we still have yeah. shirts that tell us we're all on. All the Chinese, everything. All right, oh, that's hard. Oh, yeah. What exactly is No Parking Studios? Man? Is that your label under World War II? Yes, it is. But at the same oh. time, it's like what I do my art store. Mm -hmm. So it's like being signed to an art label. Mm -hmm. Yo, this art just trying to be just, just trying to do something that ain't good doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, we start out doing like, we want to start like, Damn. Let me ask you. First off, ladies and gentlemen, if you have not seen this man's artwork, y'all better tap in and check that out now. But let me ask you, what are some of the struggles that you've seen being an artist and an artist? Because not only do you do the artwork, give it a which is like an, um, an elaboration of what you do as an artist. You do the music side and you're an artist. So those are two different struggles. I'm surprised that you ain't got more gray hairs than you do. Because that is stress on top of stress. It's true. How, 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 do you, how do you keep this positive energy? Because I know you see some backlash and like this some bad shit coming up. Yeah, bro. I look at it like this. Like it got to a point where before, like, I was working on visual for Tuesday, bro. I wasn't feeling music, yeah. Like, I was like, bro, we've been doing music for like, at this point, like, eight years. I don't see a really the same really. Like, and some shit from it. And it was like, I just got to it, like, where I didn't fuck with music. A space like that. And then I'm over every day listening to this album and step up, and I'm like, what's this album? It's crazy. So, were you doing art at that time, though? Like, no, 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 then me and my wife, man, we took our, uh, went to our honeymoon in King Kuna around the same time. Cause, man, we always seen, like I said, I seen the whole city riding across from island to island. And the first thing I did when I got back to my hotel room, bro, was draw something, like the faces you see. And it was like, yeah, bro, that's, and when people say inspired, that is like, the, that was like the definition of inspired to me. Because I was like, I can't even write a song about this. Oh, yeah, hey. Yo, so you you got the you got the recognition and the stamp of you're the man that started this world culture. I am. I have the world culture. Most of them. Fast forward after that, we got together, we, we did a song, 
Yeah, we was 420, I was King Cut, AKA Champa Trill, and, and we that did AKA a song. Still going. We did a song <laughs> like, uh, it was like niggas, dumb niggas, dumb ass niggas. Like, just talking about niggas doing dumb shit. It's on some, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, like, at the time, me and Steph probably wasn't even talking at the time. But I was mutually linked between both of them. I was all that stuff just on my it Twitter, high and school Facebook school. relationship. Yeah, like, I didn't we didn't know each other in high school and shit, but fast forward, like as adults, like I knew and I knew the graphics, and I would just reach out to like we were friends on social media. So that that's story that's about you and Steph real about how y'all met, like you was wearing vocals and shit like that. Must have been played here. Yeah, yeah. must have. Yeah, that's yeah. That, that central, bro. I was that nigga, bro. Not even Captain, but I was that nigga. And, like we used to just. We used to just freestyle at the table and shit. And I'm much older than Steph and Tom, you know what I'm saying? So like I was a little I was a little grade above them, you know what I'm saying? So I was so the new kid coming to the school and then the, the old kid you know, the little rapper, you know what I'm saying? I was the rapper. Steph wasn't really rapping that year. Like, he was already rapping. Right? Yeah, I I've been rapping for him. I've been known as the rapper. Um, what has been what's it been like seeing the evolution of Steph Simon? Because it seems like both both of you guys have recognized him as you know a real individual from the beginning and then like to see like the man that he is now. Like what's what's it been like with the work? Before Steph like already look at us. Man's been the future for years now. I'm not, like, that's real fact. What you mean? Man, you can tell us, man. What you mean? Like, so is Steph always just like that? Yeah. Is that always been him? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> the first time I met y'all, everybody was wearing robes. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I met y'all, I was like, let me just get ourselves out of here. Then I see y'all just walking around and say, yeah, you boots. You have a job? Yeah, bro. Sweet. Why robes? Why robes? Why robes? Yeah. But he still got that swag though, because like, his, his, his style, like, he run that shit. All they gotta do is just throw his gold on the Yeah. Gold earrings. He just harnessed it. He's like, he's controlling it. He's he pulled up everywhere. You know what I'm saying? He got me smoking weed. He don't even smoke now. He's like, bro, I smoke every day now. Like, yeah. Crazy. As far as like, like him though, like from high school, it was like, okay, it's this kid I ranked on with the shirt. Then right. like fast forward to early 20s and shit, like adults or whatever, they come in ways. It's like, I'm fucking with you on something. We fucking with each other on, not even on rap. It's on I know you here. Yeah. And I'm fucking with you. I see what you got going on. You know what I'm saying? Then, I got my like, Antonio. And then as far as, right. And then as far as like rap, when he started rapping, it was like, oh shit. I know this nigga. And look what he look what he's doing. Like he repping for Skyline. This is a this is this is a bold move. Ain't nobody ever rep for Skyline. Mm -hmm. It's not one of the just okay. But it's a it's a hood though. Don't it's a hood. It's, yeah. it's, 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 it's in the city up to us. And it's a hood. It, 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 it's, but it's it's like it's a suburb compared to the ghetto. Mm -hmm. It's home from the ghetto. You know what I'm saying? What's, so what's some of the neighborhoods that are in the city? Some of the hoods from the city? Because like, us from Wichita, we got North Side, we got Plainview, you know, we got other different... So we we talking basically from suburban neighbors. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And I, I coined the term a long time ago in high school, the urban neighbors. Because we used to date, he used to call it the Tulsa Thug Town. I know you was a change from Tulsa to T-Town, you know what I'm saying? It went from T-Town to whatever town. Like, it's no say era. It got it was third town with lethal and all that and nine one eight. Yeah. 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 And they like, man, y'all niggas really put us on like, we need two years to go to the green bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
So, so let me ask you this: Has the has the love always been here like that, or like is it? Is it, it has, has but it, but like with, with the Bug Town shit, bro. Everybody was clicked up and divided. So like with us, we pretty much. I'm, I'm gonna say different too. We pretty but we, we pretty much was the cycle breakers. Okay. Because it was just like how I reached out to Tom, it was on some, it could have looked like I was on some cloud chasing. This thing got to be your own world stuff. But it was on some something is telling me to reach out to this thing. Something is telling me to reach out to Tom. Something is telling me like I, I was fucking with him and then I had left for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And I stopped rapping. I was, in yeah, I was in Georgia, like, right? So I, was, I, was, I was living in uh, Okay, I okay. was working in Atlanta. I was all on this path, out in Boulevard. Yeah, I'm just, so I used to live in the uh, uh, Brown Hills, so but I lived there for a couple of years. Went to the uh, MLK High School. So yeah, you know about Snap in the Road, you know about Manola. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, that's all about right, that, man. That's all about all that shit. That's, 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 my, that's, my, that's my eighth home, bro. Yeah, that's, that's mm -hmm. I'm forever in love. I rep like I don't even know why I rep like I'm. Like, nah, like, nah, that's dope as shit. Hakeem and Saint Dom, they both are like, 
Music festivals, walking with his parents and saw all these artists out here and said, "Yo, I want to do that." Like I see it. They see they seen the flyers everywhere. They seen Steph walking around. You know what I'm saying? Make sure shit right. They seen the album. You know everything. They seen the artwork. That's what I'm talking about. That's the shit I'm talking about, bro. For him to go, he's on the news, bro. Yeah. And to see him in the alley, riding down the top of tables, that you going from the bottom to the top. He blessed the same stage as Slick Rick. He did it for Lil Saint. He brought out Player 1000 and the Deekspin. The Deekspin. Say it right, bro, because I'm going to say it. Thank you. Yeah, I can't say that shit. Him is Player 1000. Him is all like, they was they they big in Japan. They they wasn't been on tours. He brought them out at Country Green yesterday, bro. And the whole city knows what the fuck this is, you know what I'm saying? Mm, and that's the thing, St. Dom's only fucking, I don't even know how old St. Dom is, bro, because he knows this play 1,000 like, yeah. I always say that, bro. He a rap man. He a rap man. His, his mama used to play rap for him, and his mama's a true, like, his daddy from Brooklyn. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. 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 So, Hold on, before you keep going, that stems from all love, though, too. Yeah. That stems from yeah. the keynote show. You guys, you guys have changed the 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 image or the the name, the reputation of Tulsa. Because if somebody tell you about Tulsa, you know what I'm saying, outside of Oklahoma, they be like, yo, first 48? Yeah. Shit, first, y'all, y'all the first season of first 48. But now, like, you know what I'm saying, it's a whole different energy. Like, we, we didn't have any worries or nothing like that. Like, everybody's walking down the street. Everybody's showing love. We It was two whole fucking days this weekend. No drama. No drama. No, no issues. No trash. You gonna pick the trash up. You gonna, you gonna go from the bottom to the top, bro. Yeah. Like I'm saying, you gonna pick the trash up. So, let me ask. That's your love for the city right now. Most definitely. Because they know that it, you gotta keep that reputation. You gotta keep, you know what I'm saying, you gotta rep your name. But where do you guys both, from, it's, it's a two-part question, one for each of you. Where do you guys see Tulsa in 10 years? He said, man, no, I don't know. <laughs> Shit, 10 years, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Because you've seen the growth. I see it now, and it's like, what could make shit, bro? Where would you like to be in 10 years? Man, I feel you, because you're in Tulsa. If I could make a perfect city in the reach, like I said, just like this, love first. And you gotta understand, bro, just because you help another person out or put another person off, it ain't gonna take away from you. In 10 years, that big ass arena y'all got downtown is full of And that's what I'm saying. Cool. And then it's not like people that's homeless. Yeah, it was homeless. It was cool people. 
Like, they got the connects already. Right? Yeah, bro. Who is cool people? Like. See? Girls, I see Jim City, man. Yeah, man. I see everything is us. Jim City. Yeah. I see us having one of these. You know what I'm saying? Man, y'all have something very beautiful going on right now. Um, what's, and we gotta wrap this up real quick, but what's some advice that y'all can give to up and coming artists? Or just like niggas, niggas who are looking to elevate their city the way that y'all have? What's some advice that you can give to the artists? Keep it real with yourself. Be you, you know what I'm saying? And follow your life path. So you don't, that's gonna help you attract everything you need to. This shit was written. This shit wasn't planned. Nothing is planned, even if you try to make plans. You know what I'm saying? We have made plans and then got knocked down in the process of trying to see it through. But we just seen it through though. Pretty much just see it through, bro. Especially if you get with a team. If you get with a team, it's, it's, it's hard to establish a team like this. But if you, if you, if you just listen to what I just said. You know what I'm saying? You're on the track. He dropped some bars. Y'all been listening to this shit. You're on the track what you need to. I'm picking where he left off. I think that, like I said, the hard thing is, bro, start now. Because you don't want to waste time. Like, think about it, bro. You didn't. You didn't Start when we started, mm -hmm. we'll be starting right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't be here, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. he, my boy Strips from DMV right here, he wouldn't be here, you know what I'm saying? Like, Chris, like, he out there, like, we started, bro. We gotta start now. Start. Really? Like, what you want your city to be? Start. Go to where you wanna do a show at and, and hit them up. If they say no, go to the alley behind that mug and do a show. Like, start. Yeah. Cause once you start, it's gonna be another person to see you start. Don't let it stop you. Don't let it stop you. Just don't let nothing stop you. Cause you're gonna get hella no's. Mm -hmm. But all you need is one or two yeses. Yep. That's all it takes is one yes. Yeah, bro. You can say that. So yep. start, man. That's why I start now. Do it now. Man. That might be the best advice for Start right now, bro. Start now. Like, don't start tomorrow. Don't start next year. Don't start with this. With this perfect start. It ain't gonna never be no perfect time. It ain't never. And that's why. We go so hard on the younger ass. We updating the we updating the fucking processing system like a computer, bro, as we're doing this. Yep. Last night we know that this didn't work and that didn't work and we updating it as we go, bro. Mm -hmm. We don't know how we don't we ain't never do no fest. It's our fourth year, but it's still every year it's a new year, like yep. you don't know what the, you didn't know a tornado you can't plan a tornado, tornado. a year ahead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't, you do can't it. plan a tornado a yeah. day ahead. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So it's like, like bro, like you just gotta do it, bro. Like he said, do it. You gotta be consistent and you gotta do it. It's gonna be a new day tomorrow. If we wasn't doing this, we wouldn't have attracted for the CD. CD wouldn't have been, they wouldn't have came back to town like. I don't understand strip. This they strip doing some shit. You know what I'm saying? Right here, yeah, we wouldn't attract the child. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Y'all, so uh, two, we're two years away from mm -hmm. the 100 year anniversary. Of the Black Wall Street, uh, the uh, what would you call? It? What do you guys call Black it? Black Wall Street massacre. I, I wanted to say massacre, but yeah, I, I thought it. I heard it's you a say that. It's a massacre. Yeah, you gotta say what it is, bro. It's a massacre. So, how how important do you guys feel like it is for people to know the history of Tulsa and the Black Wall Street massacre? That shit is vital, bro. It's, it's been wiped out of history, not only around the world, but here where the shit happened at. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So even if you a white person and you want to contribute to like the healing process or the reconciliation process, you don't even know shit about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you it. just out here living, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And you don't know why these black people looking like this when they when you out in public. You don't know why you looking at them a certain way when you out in public. You don't know what the fuck is in the air. You don't know what's going on. You got to know your history, yeah. you know what I'm saying? From On both sides though, Yeah. you know what I mean? Like, you got to know. It's a, this is a city. This, this is a part of the city. You just gotta know. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no fairy tale either. It's a real place. It really happened in yeah. real life. You know yeah. what I'm saying? This like, is a not, real thing. Not made like, up. Mm. The National Guard really yeah. dropped bombs mm -hmm. in this place. Don't just get online and do your research. Do that, but also come on down to Tulsa. Pull up. See what the see what the city looks like. See what yeah, you gotta you gotta see it. It's it's it's, it's all it's more of a you gotta experience it in person than for you to just be able to see it happen if you're for man. But yo fellas, I really appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? Giving us the time, man. It's been all love, man.
Tones. Where can they find you on you know your socials on Instagram? Tones Beach. Tones Beach. No parking studios. No parking studios. Tones Beach. <laughs> King Cut, that's K-E-E-N-G-C-U-T on everything and World Culture Music. Yes, World Culture Music. Everything, you know what I'm saying? And WCM Tulsa. Dot com for the updates. For the tickets. For the merch. For the tickets. For the merch and for the tickets. Oh, well, yo. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm the show in the merch. Yeah. Get that money. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been an episode of Point Proven. I go by the name of Rello. That's R E L L O. Come on, Tom's the genius, man. Full running YouTube, looking you all right. Goddamn world. Yo, we live out here in Tulsa. Appreciate the love and hospitality. We out. Oops, oops, oops.